Hello everyone, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. When I last left my Duna exploits, I had a Starship and Super Heavy in orbit around Kerbin, and we were trying to refuel the Starship with Super Heavy, and also attach a pair of solar panels to Starship because I didn't have power on it, unfortunately. But I think I'm gonna just leave these here. I'm not gonna do anything more with them for now. After all, we can't really dock the Super Heavy to Starship, it looks like, especially since Starship has its power out. So we're going to have to send a smaller vehicle on top of Super Heavy, something that can separate from Super Heavy and dock to Starship a little bit more nimbly. Uh, but maybe I'll just see what happens with these two in orbit around Kerbin, just to make sure everything around Kerbin is okay. After all, this is all about testing the game. And I, as somebody had asked, and so I'll just make clear, I'm not using any mods because otherwise it'll complicate things as far as testing the game is concerned. So there are no mods in KSP2 for me right now even though some of them are very tempting. But uh, we do also have a lander on the moon, and before I go on and launch something else in an attempt to get to Duna, maybe we should go to a tracking station and see how that's doing. Also have to line up with Duna again. Or was it Minmus? Oh, it was on Minmus. Uh, okay, sorry, not the moon, Minmus. Well, this thing did not hop up on Minmus. So that's an interesting thing to note. Uh, we have just turned to it. Uh, another interesting thing to note, though, is our nav ball is still the super heavy nav ball. It's still all the stuff related to super heavy. So I'm pleased that our probe has not hopped up. Uh, unless, of course, I suppose we can say control from here. No, in fact, not. Now we've got. Oh, I. Th none of this is actually related to this. Maybe, hold on. Yeah, it still says Super Heavy Refueler up there. Okay, so Minmus, Alpha 1, Control. Okay, maybe I uh, clicked the wrong thing. What could I have clicked to come over here and not have everything... Let's see. So, let's, let's say I uh, click that. Uh, double click that. Control, Focus. Focus. A control. Oh, 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 okay. For a brief second, everything was the Alpha 1 on Minmus. Okay, now it now it's alright. So, I don't know. And there's no electric charge. That's probably why we couldn't control from... I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, it is done. and But it's still sitting here and it's not hopping. So that's good. So, some peculiarities, but we'll give it a pass because uh, it seems like after you try to go away and come back, it works properly. So one thing that we have surely discovered with our experiments is that building a really tall rocket doesn't work very well with inline stages and everything. It does depend on how you connect up the stages, but uh, certainly the engine plates uh, tend to be wobbly. But this has encouraged me to make a more horizontal design. I feel like they are encouraging a more boosters kind of philosophy. And instead of having an inline stage, they want you to sort of stack up the boosters. And in this case, I haven't really stacked them up that much. Uh, we've got a core and we've got these boosters here. But I decided to build the rest of the base around the same basic philosophy. Instead of making a taller base, we make a wider base. And also sort of make it all in line and make sure that rocket is just not very tall. Uh, we will see if this works out for us. I'm gonna put launch clamps here. We have put struts this time. Uh, each of these side modules has two struts and then each of the, the boosters has two struts going to the core. So we will see. We've underfueled the big sphere this time. I thought about putting lights. I think I'll leave that off for now. Let's uh, let's see what we've got here. In total, it says 122 parts. So you can see the stats there. And we are going to see how that works out for us. We are at the Duna window again. And I still think that Launchpad 1 is better. So I'm going to go with a Launchpad 1. Well, it seems stable. Let's launch in daylight though. Coming out of time warp. Wiggles, but not too bad. Right? And the center pressure should be fairly low with these things hanging off. Okay, I even put landing legs this time. Okay, here we go. Attention. 
clearly we are meant to make traditional Kerbal rockets like this. You know, flying fortresses or office blocks. Really what the Elegant Design Bureau is meant to fight against, but if you can't beat them, join them. Well, starting to turn here. Now these don't actually separate radially. They could. I thought about actually putting stuff around them and so they would drop straight down. They're actually decoupling straight. We do have a lot of reaction wheels here too. Each of these pods has a reaction wheel at the end and this one at the top. They're all medium ones. And of course we have reactors on each of these pinnacles. I don't know if... Uh, yeah, we should enable them. We really only need one enabled. Jeb is apparently the only person in here. Well, I don't know. There's so many seats, who knows. Okay, off those go. Oh, they tilt out like that, so actually it might not be good to have stuff around them. Well, that's something, isn't it? We really are back to old Kerbal days with this sort of thing. Okay, but it looks like we will make orbit with it. Slow though it was. And far more stable than Starship and Super Heavy. Here you go, folks. Uh, this is a far better rocket than Starship and Super Heavy. And look, it's like already a Duna base. You don't even have to unpack anything. I didn't put any ladders, though. We are in orbit. I guess that'll be fine for now. I've still got two tons of mob propellant that I don't need. Uh, no, I don't want whatever's there. I don't want to target the Lunasphere. See, they really need to let us click on the orbit to target the celestial body, because otherwise it always prioritizes a vessel there instead of the celestial body. But anyway, let me just focus on it and zoom in. And eventually get to Duna. Wait, where does it say our Duna Sphere is? Um, guys, our Duna Sphere shouldn't be over there. Our Duna Sphere. Well, okay, it's over here. What? Okay, first of all, I thought we landed it. But. Our Duna Sphere is supposed to be that thing. That's the thing that we landed on Duna, right? Remember that? Uh, but maybe there's a spent stage or something. Uh, but it's that, 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 that thing on Ike is definitely not it. See, that's not how the burn is supposed to go. <laughs> I, I, we should start. We probably should have started already. Let's go. Oh, now it's all lit up. Best way to provide base lighting. Turn on the engine. Really, the reactors should glow. Not because that's realistic, they should be shielded, but it'd be nice. <laughs> I mean, they could have lights on. The reactors should have like little warning lights. Let's see, turn on lights. We, we can turn on the interior lights. But yeah, the reactors should not be that dark. They should have warning lights or something. Okay, well, obviously this is not gonna be right. Let's see what's going on here. No, it should still be my target. Um, will will show an encounter? Okay, let's not go with hope. Definitely got rid of it as my target. Uh, focus... Uh, well, at least the marker is still not at uh, Ike, but I don't know what that ascending note is. Okay, Duna, focus, and... Well, clear target, set as target. 
Okay, are we too far or? Well, it's not going to show me anything unless I create a maneuver node, I think. Ah, there we go. I don't know if we should try to land close to the other thing. That was a goal, though. So we should have some inclination, and maybe we can try it. We'll see. Okay, so that'll be our mid-course correction. Lights are on, and only Jeb is home. All right, igniting a little bit early because we're going to be low thrust. That'll be fine for now. We'll fix the rest once we get there. It doesn't super matter which way around we're going. I'm still worried that it'd be unstable. It's more stable than anything else I've launched. Why is it so dark for Jeb when we've got the lights on? I suppose once they add thermal effects, which they plan on doing soon, uh, these parts won't be as heat shielded and this is not going to be a good idea. But for now. But then again, Duna doesn't really do too much as far as heat is concerned, so maybe it'd still be alright. Okay, time to capture. Oh, there's that Duna Sphere 4 in orbit. This is default name 23 on the surface. Well, I mean, suppose we can try to get to default name 23. Let's just set this up. That might be good enough. I mean, we're in line more or less, but it's hard to tell like this. That seems a little bit south of our orbit right now. It all depends on what the atmosphere does to us and how quickly, right? We do apparently have a lot of drag, one would think. Don't see a downside of getting the landing gear down. Whoa, okay, I just saw a little bit of a downside. <laughs> uh, when they locked, all the modules wiggled. Nice music. Suddenly with the piano and violin. Okay, we are slowing down now. Um, I think we gotta be falling short. Okay, let me come out of Fizz Warp. Let's see what kind of control I have over this. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh. No, it's gotta go... Nose first, no! No, oh wait, maybe it's gonna go back retrograde. Uh, okay, uh, use some thrust. Try and turn. Uh oh. The aerodynamics may not be working for us in this situation. No, aboard to orbit! Oh boy, we're not actually accelerating. Oh, there's the location, but I don't want to go there now. I've changed my mind. <laughs> I want to go back to orbit, please. I think we're going to impact the ground very hard indeed. Maybe if the landing gear is up, us to turn. I put a lot of reaction wheels. Well, I should have sort of foreseen this. Oh, it got wrecked way before that. Hmm. Well, yes, that could have gone better. Um, well, we have learned something. Uh, horizontally built vehicles, good for launching. Not not good for landing. Well, maybe if I hadn't turned, though. Let me revert to launch. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that again, but this time we're not gonna turn ahead of time. I, I'm not gonna try and tilt away from retrograde. Okay, going. 
I mean, what could we do to this to make it stable during Duna re-entry or du during Duna entry? The only option is to just not let it turn because otherwise it's definitely going to go nose and forward. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we should have like fins on this side. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if that would work or not. It's sure stable enough here, so that's not a problem. We could sacrifice some of the stability here to make sure it's more stable on the Duna side. Uh, or you know, we could put fins on this portion, and then for more stability around Kerbin, we could put fins here since we're dumping these. That's an option. Uh, we didn't get as high this time. I forgot to dump the mob propellant again. We did, after all, revert to launch. Uh, well, having reverted, it's decided that I don't deserve to see my orbit anymore. <laughs> And, uh, oh wait, uh, when I zoom out, may, no, uh, I don't know. I, I can't click on it to make a maneuver right now. We'll set that aside. Oh, none of the orbits are showing. Let's just... Yeah, spheres of influence show, but not the orbits. Okay. Let me uh, go to the main menu and come back in and see if that helps. Still here. No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, now it's gotten more interesting, hasn't it? And I'm gonna quit the game and come back. Okay. Are we safe now? Okay, we have orbits. So restarting worked. Okay, off we go. Maybe I should have added parachutes. Just to orient it, not because they're gonna do much. Might have been a good idea. Okay, as usual, it won't show me the encounter unless I add a maneuver node. Okay, we'll try that for now. And, well, lights on. And on we go. But you know, it might just all break apart. After all, long before we crashed into the surface, we broke apart. But if we're pointing in the right direction, we could use the engine to slow down, hopefully. Funny that we broke apart in Duna's pitiful atmosphere and not around Kerbin. At much higher speeds, too. Around Kerbin. But, yeah, I don't know. The pressure should be greater around Kerbin. Okay, well, we'll take that for now. Okay, we probably want to capture an orbit first, if only to give ourselves the opportunity to save. So let's go radial out. Hopefully it's not third time the charm, third time's the charm, because this is the second time. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we can avoid that. Okay, capturing. Okay, let me cut there, even though we're not in a tight orbit, because we might want to tilt it a little bit in order to try to hit that. We'll be coming in from a much higher altitude, so... Oh, something like that, maybe. Okay, hopefully it's close enough. We're like that. Ah, uh, it doesn't look close enough, does it? Well, but just eyeballing it is tough. Oh, we've already passed it. We're, n we're not landing anywhere near it. The time it took for us to get down from the high apoapsis that we had, the planet had already rotated too much. Well, we'll land just anywhere. 
it's probably better if we don't pay attention to that at all. I'm gonna start the engine a little bit here. Okay, coming in. Twenty kilometers. Fifteen kilometers. Ten kilometers. Surface looking good. Well, not in terms of being smooth for our landing, but it's looking detailed. Don't know if I actually wanted those details. Okay, I'm just gotta let it keep holding. I hope we don't wiggle around too much. Okay, just hold. Okay, go down. Okay, cut. All right, it's a slope again, but we have our base on the surface of Duna. How's about that? Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> All right. There it is. We'll see if it survives or not. Yeah, there you go. Lesson learned. We uh, we should build more horizontally. Everything should look like a pyramid. Uh, not not like the rockets you're used to at all. I mean, more like more like a capsule, right? They, they're all sort of cone shaped. You know, this is probably the optimal way to go. <laughs> anyway, there's a, there's a theory for you. I'll leave it here. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.